What is up everyone, Bochi here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and today I just want to do a quick little update video for you guys. So we just got news this morning that there is going to be a Champion Fragment Summon event happening on this Wednesday, and it's going to be for a champion called Burgoth the Malformed. And so in just a second I'll go ahead and throw up an image of him, we'll go through all of his um, attacks and everything and then I'll give you my initial take on his kit and what I think about him um, but yeah so let's go ahead and jump in here just for comparison purposes but um, so he is going to be a Knight Revenant epic champion and he's going to be a spirit affinity and HP type champion so looking through the list over here at least in the epics there's only one HP based champion and that is miscreated monster now granted miscreated is like s tier so um definitely not going to compare this burgoth guy to him but other than the other like other than miscreated monster there's only um coffin smasher um guardian and daywalker as hp based champions so not too too many hp based champions but adding another one to the roster is not going to hurt um, so we'll go ahead and throw up an image now. I know what everyone's gonna say um, Yes, it is a coffin smasher reskin um, Not too too original, but honestly with the champions they've added recently like Narma and little miss Annie um, and even Elgaius or Elgaius like Their champions have been looking great. So a reskin of a easy to get champion I'm not going to get mad about it, but yes, it is a reskin pretty much. Um, so let's go ahead and jump over into his abilities. So I'm going to look over here for some notes, but um, his A1 is going to be called Nightmare Juggernaut, and it's going to attack one enemy and has a 50% chance of placing a 15% continuous heal buff on this champion for one turn if this attack is critical. Um, then you have his A2, Chemical Stench, attacks all enemies has a 30% chance of placing a provoke debuff for two turns and that will have a five turn cooldown and that's all for his like actual activated abilities and then he's gonna have his passive um, which is called canister uh, whenever this champion is attacked heals all allies except this champion by 20% of the damage received now initially I think this is kind of a pretty cool kit um, just because it's a protection type champion so land with provokes get hit heal other um other people on your team so really um nothing groundbreaking i'm gonna say that right off the bat um but i do think this will be a good freebie champion um just because anyone that's like newer or having a hard time progressing this could be a champion that they could use not saying that you know it's going to be a need to get type champion um, but it can help progress just because of the provoke uh, mechanic. Um, a lot of people have issues during the waves of dungeons, and that's where the biggest issue um, is with, you know, trying to progress through higher level dungeons. And so any type of provoke champion, especially an AoE provoke champion, is never going to be a bad thing. Now, my only concern is the fact that his A2, which is his uh, provoke ability, it has a five turn cooldown so i'm guessing that you will be able to book it down to four turns would be awesome if you could book it down to three turns but that's a little i think that's asking a little too much but we'll see um and then the 30 percent chance of placing the provoke i'm hoping that at least goes to 50 um because honestly that's all this champion's about um he's very very um useful i'm not gonna say useless but um, he will not do his job unless he is attacked. So landing that provoke is very, very key um, to his kit. So overall, though, I, I don't think he is an amazing champion by far at all. Um, I do think he will be a nice freebie champion. Now, I wasn't around for when they did the Horden um, Fragment Summon, so I'm not exactly sure how easy... He is going to be a, a lot of people have Horden though, so I'd imagine this fragment summon is going to be easy. And um, now, do I think you should get him? I honestly think if there's a free way to get an epic champion or legendary champion, or pretty much any champion, honestly, I think you should really just go for it. 
Um, now, will it, you know, do anything for certain accounts? If you're further in the game and you're not having issues, um, you know, farming uh, level 20 dungeons and stuff, no, I think he could be kind of cool for faction wars. Um, and for newer accounts or free-to-play accounts, I honestly would definitely get him um, because like I stated earlier, progression and stuff like that, it could really help. And a free champion's a free champion, <laughs> so uh, there's nothing really to complain about that. Unless they make it incredibly hard to randomly get him, but highly doubt that because he's an epic champion and even some of these legendary fragment summons have been semi-easy, so definitely wouldn't count on it being difficult. Um, but yeah, all in all, I just wanted to give you guys that um, little information that we received earlier today. Um, but yeah, please let me know what you guys think of this champion. I know a lot of people are going to comment the whole uh, remodel portion of it, and we did give that feedback. <laughs> but, um, you know, if they keep on putting things out like, you know, El Gaius, and um, let's see, let's go ahead and just jump in here. So we had what? Um, we had Little Miss Annie. This was an awesome skin. Um, then you had, I believe, Narma, another awesome skin. Um, so honestly, they're, they're doing great jobs with graphical models. A reskin here and there is not going to make me upset. So yeah, but anyways, like I said, let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you guys will be going for it. Um, yeah, so I will let you guys go and I will see you guys in another video. See ya.